How about global warming? How would we deal with this central ecological problem from a position of scarcity and a position of abundance? Now the problem is we're sending too many greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which is causing this global warming and this climate change, which is detrimental to us human beings. And it would seem that it's a problem of scarcity because there's not enough clean earth or clean air around. We're sending out too much pollution. We're consuming too much. And so a lot of the calls are about consuming less. Fly less, consume less, use less fossil fuels. Otherwise, we will make life on Earth impossible. But there is a different perspective. If, as human beings, we are influencing the planet, we can influence the planet one way or the other way. And there is a marvelous project called Drawdown, which is spearheaded by Paul Hawken and which examines the way in which we can actually decrease the amount of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Not a question of keeping the rise to a certain level so that we only change the climate by one or two degrees, but actually bringing back the CO2 level to a level which is fine for us. And in that project, they identify a hundred different ways of doing so, some of which are really surprising, such as giving algae to cows to eat, and only some of which have to do with energy. There are myriad ways in which we influence the planet. And so there is myriad ways in which we can create the future that we want, also on the level of climate. The project Drawdown is startling because of its ambition. It's startling because of its reliance on human creativity and human capacity. And it's a greatly abundant way to think about the world.